Hey, what's up? Hello and welcome. My name is Maya and I'm Maya the Simmer. Today we have part 16 of our 100 baby challenge. If you're excited, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and ding that notification bell. Uh, so today we have a lot planned and we're going to start the episode off with, of course, a moodlet solver because Samira needs it. Boy, does she need it. Um, we need to get her pregnant ASAP. I invited over the vampire from last episode that glitches so much. Girl, stop playing with me. Stop playing. Take the moodlet solver. Don't even start the episode off like this. I'm actually in a really good mood, you guys. I'm in a great mood. Actually, today was the premiere of uh, episode 15, so I'm recording this like really early, but I just, I don't know. I love this challenge and I love playing it. And you guys already left me really great names, so I thought, why not? Girl, girl, I swear your baby doesn't need you. I swear she doesn't need you. All right, there you go. Got your mood lid solver. Let's take care of this baby. All right, and let's see if the vampire is here. He is, he is, he is. He was the star of last episode. If I'm, actually I'm lying. Hayden and Harlow was the star of last episode. You guys really love them and I do too. Um, I love all our kids, but I love them and their whole like aesthetic. They were great. What are you smelling? Our garbage? Hello? Oh, Isaac is off to school. Bye, babe. He's going to be an A today. He's a B, so we're gonna get him as a teen. Um, I'm feeling like I really have to push myself this episode because I feel Yazzie on our tail. So we need to like get this in the bag. Hopefully one of the twins that um, Kyra and Kylie that we had last episode, hopefully one of them is a vampire because I want to get to 30 kids this episode. I do. Um, because I want to celebrate that I have 300 subscribers. I can't believe I'm on 300 subscribers. I'm so thankful for all of you and like your continued support of this series. When I first started this series, I was nervous to do something like out of my comfort zone and like your support throughout it all has been amazing, amazing. So I want to bring us to 30 kids. And I was thinking we're like a month and a half into this challenge and we are on kid 26, right? Um, what if we complete the challenge in under a year? I know it sounds crazy. I know it sounds crazy, but I really think we can complete 100 Baby in under a year. Um, as long as I keep uploading like I am, I mean, I can't look into the future and say like what my life would be like, but I'm hoping that we can finish this challenge in under a year. So, uh, continue supporting me and we'll get through this challenge. Um, yeah. <laughs> So let's get to 30 kids this episode and let's hope at least one of them is a vampire to help bring us up to 27. That means I have to get her pregnant twice again. That means we have to move Isaac out for it to work. Oh, he doesn't, oh, he's playing hard to get. You know his style, his his dark form style is actually really cute. It kind of suits Samira. It seems like we got him back on our side, okay. They're having a good exchange. He's flirty now. Let's have our first kiss. Girl, girl, stop playing. Just. Just do what you have to do for us. Aw, how cute. I wonder if we woohoo in his dark form. Does it make it a better chance of our kids being vampires? Um, I wanted to woohoo with him off of like not at the house because I kind of want her to have a single baby because I'm scared we're going to um, basically fill up our home. So my plan is now that we got him a little, a little flirty and we can actually woohoo with him, we're going to take him off of our lot. Yeah, she has the fertile trait, so I know she can still have it off of the lot, but I feel like the lot really brings us down with having kids, and I'm scared she's going to fill up the house. <laughs> so, and we, I'd rather that not happen. So let me um, get the mail, and then we'll take this guy, and we'll go somewhere, <laughs> and woo him with him in, like, a bush or a shower, or we should go to a gym. He's always hungry. I can't with him. Um, but... <laughs> Let's add him to the group. We'll go to the gym with him so we can woohoo in a shower. All right, we're here at the uh, gym with him. Let's make this quick. All right, let's, oh, he's down here. Woohoo with him. Girl, okay, good. Ask him to woohoo. Come on, will you woohoo with us, please? And you only give us one kid. Oh, he's already down there. He's waiting for us. He, <laughs> he took his bat form and went right to the stall. I hear that. There they go. Oh, okay, <laughs> okay. Wow. 
Yeah, no lie. They've been woohooing for so long. I've just been sitting here waiting. Like, come on. <laughs> Enough's enough. No protection was used, so take a pregnancy test. Oh, yes. Okay, she's pregnant. Great. Great. Ask him to be just friend. Oh, is that Aurora? Oh, hold on. I know Aurora is not about to woohoo. I know that's not Aurora. It is Aurora. I know they're not about to woohoo. Hold on. What is going on? Oh, I got so scared. I thought she was about to. I mean, not scared, but like that would have been awkward. Could you ask him to be just friends? This guy is so creepy. Can we just be friends? Thanks. Aw, is that Ambrose too here? That is Ambrose. Hey, baby. Aw, that's cute. And he's an A student. Okay, let's share big news with him. And then we'll go and age up Isaac. Listen, I'm pregnant. He's like, again? He looks sad like, oh, why? Why? Why do you always have, have to have more kids? No, he's happy. All right, let's head home and age up Isaac. All right, we're back home. Time for you to age up Isaac and then get started. Hopefully we can age him up early enough that he can go to school tomorrow. Happy birthday, Isaac. Oh, so cute. Isaac will be a natural cooker. Okay, he got 10, which is love. And he got one, soulmate. Oh, he wants to find a soulmate, aw. Okay, Isaac, quickly add birthday candles. Let's see, are you going to school tomorrow? You are perfect. That means you need to do your homework. I'll get you a project and we'll get your skill up to three. This is cute. Both of them in here working on their skills. Oh, I swear I always catch them soon as they max a skill. Thank you, Jordan. Your services are great. Now on to thinking and then we have the easy ones, which is like movement <laughs> and imagination, communication. Those are the easy ones. I wanted to get the hard ones done with them first. You're almost there, little Jade. Our little vampire. Oh, I'm so happy we get a vampire. Oh, we need to get a child with three positive character values. Sheesh. To complete her thing. What, where are you at? Oh, you, <laughs> you only have responsibility like all our other kids. We will have to start working from the beginning on that. And I kind of want to hold off until she's an elder. Maybe we can get one of her last kids to do that. You know, like when we don't have to worry about time. Uh, so yeah, right now we, we can't do that. Work on your project, hon. Poor baby needs a makeover, but your pants are cool. All right, she's going, there she goes. <laughs> I was gonna say she's going to reach three, but there she goes. All right, go do your shapes. All right, good, he finished his project, great. He's gonna eat and then work on his ro rocket science skills some more. I think he's already on two. Yeah, he's already on two. And we just invited over the mermaid that we met a few episodes back, um, the handsome mermaid, because yeah. Um, I'm trying to get more babies and get more babies to count. Uh, so we invited him over just to build a relationship. So when she gives birth, she can just get pregnant again. This one, whatever his name is. Uh, don't leave, don't leave, don't leave. At least he's very handsome. He has a feminine look about him. Well, he's really cute, really, really cute. Um, so we're gonna basically get to know this guy. Oh, he's a music lover. So are we, that's great. Is he gonna take care of our flirts? Okay, good. Yes, Jordan's already level three thinking. Let's go. Jordan, you can eat. You, my love, you need to go to sleep. All right, after we take care of, I, God, they're crying again. You're ruining everything. I don't know who told Isaac to go to sleep. Honestly, you have enough for a moulded solver, so, because we kind of have to get you out the house to actually get pregnant by this guy. So, yeah. <laughs> so drink that. Why would you come in here and ruin your mom's vibe? Isaac, really? Really? I expect it more from you. Hurry up and drink your mood lid solver so we can do this. I want them to get to at least first kiss. Girl, what? Mm-mm, 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 mm-mm. That's not what you're about to do. Ready? Oh, he's leaving. You know what? We have enough romance. That's fine. That's fine. Samira, you're tired anyway. So we're going to send everyone to bed except for Isaac. Isaac is going to continue on his skills and we'll pick back up in the morning. All right, finally, level three. Do your extra credit now. And I do want to hire that maid. I feel like we definitely have enough money for a maid service now. Yes, Jordan's already level two movement, which is great. Yes, already level two, Jade. Yes. All right, yes. Now she reached level three communication. She's catching up. All right, go ahead and slide, girl. 
And then all you have is imagination afterwards. Oh, yay, our maid is here. Oh, well, she's actually really cute. Oh, yes, Jade, already level two with the movement. Oh, you guys want to see what I did? I accidentally named Kara, Kara Benawi. <laughs> Her name is definitely Kara Fletcher. So, yeah, we have to fix that when she ages up. She should be aging up soon. They age up in 16 hours, and she gives. Uh, she's in her third trimester in one day. Yes, Isaac's an A student. He's our first kid to get to an A and to like getting to a team without a makeover. I feel bad, but I'm trying to age up the other kids before going into create a sim. So we are going to age. We are going to give them the makeover. Okay. I would never forget a kid. It's not that. I just don't want to spend too much time in create a sim. Oh, see, she's already level three. We're great. She only has one more, but happy birthday, Isaac. I'll give you the best makeover ever. I promise. Happy birthday. He doesn't look too bad. It's not like he looks, you know, let me not even lie. Go ahead. Age up. Last straight. Freaking. I feel like our kids get that. All right. Add birthday candles. You did amazing. You did everything you needed to do. All right. She's tired. Sorry, love. You didn't have to keep sliding. Go to sleep. She only has to do her imagination yes level two already yes yes love that for you one more level for commun or for imagination and then we work on communication it's almost time to age up the babies i'm excited to see if they are um vampires Ooh, i'm so excited it says two more hours so we should be aging them up really soon i'm gonna wake up jade and um jordan their needs are terrible but they really 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 need to age up because i don't want four toddlers together and you need to work on your imagination and your um communication but you're almost there for imagination you just need to play one more time and you should be fine you my love you should do super efficient um baby care on them and then this one you'll just see jordan you're already level three there you go and then this one you'll uh, make sure they're okay to age up. Okay, there's their their sign that it's their birthday. It's Kylie's birthday and it's Kyra's birthday. Kylie is older, so all right, let's age up Kylie first and then we'll age up Kyra. Let's hope they're vampires, people. Everyone cross your fingers, your toes, everything. We need to be brought to 28. All right, Kylie will be... Oh my goodness, Kylie Fussy, you said no mean bone in the body and Fussy is not a good start. But Kylie is aged up. I'm scared. <laughs> Hurry up so we can bring them into Create a Sim. Well, we're gonna bring them into Create a Sim as soon as these two get their skills together. Hey, so my recording cut out once again and I think I figured out the problem. I think it's when I go to switch screens to check how long I've been recording. Um, my recording takes a while to start back up, so it seems like it jumps in time. Um, now that I figured out the problem, hopefully it doesn't happen anymore, and I uh, apologize. Uh, enjoy the rest of the video. Bye. All right, Tamara, start with potty training. We'll do Kyra. <laughs> we have to fix her last name. Uh, I'm excited to bring them into create a sim. Girl, girl, she's like passing out, refusing to do her skills. So just, you know, you guys are not being helpful right now. You're really not being helpful. Isaac is downstairs doing nothing. So we're going to bring him up here to help his siblings with potty training. All right, they're in here. They're potty training the girls. Hopefully they actually listen. They already are defiant. Like, nah, we're good. Yes, Jordan can now talk. All right, Jordan, you're all set to age up. All right, go to sleep, my love, go to sleep. We're just waiting on your sister now. I feel like I've been potty training these girls for so long that it feels like it's taking forever. Like, <laughs> oh, they like their skill won't go up. And this girl right here, I just, I can't with her. I sent her to bed. We got other babies to wor worry about, but no, for real. Well, we need to get her aged up so we can go into create a sim. I'm mad that we're stuck with them for the weekend, but I'm happy that we have Isaac to move out so we still will have room. And I can tell he's shaped like his dad, but you know what? Tis life. Tis life. Oh, Kyra reached level two. Nice. All right, Samira, you can go to sleep, love. All right, Kylie's level two now. So Isaac, how about you teach her basic um, needs? This girl, this girl. 
<sighs> girl, girl. Like, look how close she is. Like, literally. <laughs> I just, I can't with her. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. You have 3%, girl. 3%. We're just gonna help um, Jordan blow out his candles because she's taking too long. Oh, she's finally working on the last bit of her skill. Finally, finally. <laughs> After we blow out Jordan's candles, there she goes. There you go, was that so hard? Was it so hard? Jeez. Now she's level three and everything. And Jordan is level three and everything. Samira, aren't you supposed to be helping Jordan? There you go. Finally, we get them as kids and we can go into create a sim. Oh, they were stressing me out, especially Jade. Happy birthday, Jordan. Happy birthday, babe. Yes, time to age up. I guess not. Nope, we're doing, we're doing this again, guys. There we go. All right, Jordan is going to be a hothead. Okay, hot-headed. He does look hot-headed to me. Like on last episode's thumbnail, the kid looked angry and he got motor. Nice. I definitely miss Jade blowing out the candles, but happy birthday, Jade. There you go. Age up for us. I should be a lot... Please, please, please just put her down. I should be a lot nicer to her, though, considering she's bringing us two babies. She's still calm, and she gets social. Nice. There we go. Great. Oh, we can finally go into create a sim. Oh, that was taking forever forever all right let's bring them into create a sim all right so we finished all the makeovers and before we get started i just want to say i feel like this group of kids is probably the most unique looking we've had for a while um but i love all of them i hope you enjoy the makeovers my thing with isaac isaac is a very handsome boy like look at him well man because he's an adult now so handsome like look at his face I love him and I, I got to give a sim facial here because you know he's an adult now and I did the makeover so made sense. My thing with Isaac though is his body. Why is he shaped that way? I don't know. But this is his everyday athletic. I tried to give him clothes to hide the shape but nothing was working. We should have known from his dad. Anyway, here's his sleep, swimwear, hot weather, and cold weather and we're gonna move him out uh, as soon as Samira gets a picture with him all right Jordan and Jade there's something about them that seems very very mischievous like they look like they just get into trouble like I think it's their eyes like when you look at them they look like they're kind of laughing at you I don't know it was something about them when I was making them over I was like I don't know something about them but they're very cute they're still really cute kids um, he kind of reminds me of Bennett a little, and I think it's the hair. Uh, but this is his everyday. Athletic, sleep, party, swim, hot weather, and cold weather. All right, here's Jade. I didn't really dress her as a vampire, and you'll see why in a little bit. I did end up giving her vampire fangs, I think, though. Yeah, I did, and I thought that was really cute. Um, but here's Jade. This is Jade's everyday. Athletic, sleep, party, swim she aged up with these sunglasses on so i just kept it hot weather and cold weather so the reason i didn't dress jade <laughs> as a vampire is because i dressed kylie and kyra both as vampires because they're both vampires you guys we are at 28 kids <laughs> oh i was so happy when we got into create a sim i wish i kept recording through it um, but I really, really like Kylie and Kyra. Their skin tone is so beautiful. Oh my goodness. Especially Kyra. Um, but Kylie, look at her. She's so pretty. She aged up with like really brown eyes. I want to show you the eyes she aged up with, if I can find them. She aged up with these eyes. Um, and they're really pretty eyes. I just, I just commonly use like these eyes more. Like that type of swatch of eye. Um, I don't even remember what eye I had on her. Um, I use these eyes more often than these ones but i thought they were a similar color um so i kept her eyes that color but this is her she's so cute look how sweet she looks she looks like cameron a lot and i was so happy that i have locks hair for kids so she could wear locks like her dad and i have some for um teens as well so i can't wait i don't know if i have any for children but still they look really cute um here's her every day sleep party swim hot weather and cold weather as you can see the theme with them is black because when are we ever going to get twin vampires again here's kyra i finally fixed her last name but look at her 
She looks so much like her dad. I feel like this is our first kid that we got like splitting image of their dad. But the thing is that when the toddlers get these noses, I noticed they have Samira's nose. Um, they tend to age up with her nose, but I don't know. We'll see. And she freaking had red eyes when she aged up. Like these same exact eyes are the eyes she had on her. And I thought that was so freaking cool. Um, and like, I can put these ones, like these are the swatches I most commonly use, like I did for uh, Kylie. But I don't know, these ones are really bright red and I really like them, so I kept them for her. Here's her every day. Sleep, party, swim, hot and cold. I love them, I love them. I don't know, something about them, I don't know. I really do. Um, but yeah, we're gonna move out Isaac and continue on with playing. All right, everyone's heading to bed, but I wanna make sure that we take our pictures with Isaac. So we're gonna do our pictures with Isaac and then we'll move him out. We're on the weekend, so there's no way Jade and Jordan can do anything with school besides, of course, we're going to get them a project, do the skills, everything we need to do throughout the weekend. But I want to make sure Isaac's spot is open in case she is pregnant with twins right now um, because, yeah, then we'll have a full house with Isaac here and we, we can't have that. There's no way. Okay, there we go. We got Isaac. He looks just like his dad. All right, let's move Isaac out before she gives birth. All right, lucky for Isaac, his dad lives in Mount Komorebi, so yeah, he gets to move to Mount Komorebi. Bye, Isaac, but now you see what I mean? Like, he looks just like his dad, mixed with Samara. That's really cute. Aww. Aww. All right, bye. All right, so we're loaded back in the house. Uh, Samara's going to sleep. She's probably going to give birth in the middle of the night because she gives birth in question mark, question mark, question mark. But um, I'll see you guys in the morning. So it's the next morning and Jade and Jordan are both up doing their projects. They finished their homeworks already. They're working hard. I think Jade is like level three mental already. Um, I'm not sure about Jordan's skill. He's level two mental. So we'll have them play chess together afterwards when they're done. Oh, they're going to be smart little beans. I love that for them. Kyra, whatever you're doing, please stop because you can just go to sleep. Oh, are you just babbling? Okay, good. You're being good. Go to sleep, though. <laughs> Samira still didn't give birth. Um, Not sure why. Just, you know, no baby. I think I'm going to get her up and get her cooking, though, because their kids are going to need more food soon, so might as well get up. She's huge. Yep, I think she's having twins. <laughs> I feel, like, confident that she's having twins. Yeah, she's already level 4 mental. Jade is so smart. Oh, my goodness. And he's level 3 mental amazing he's level three social that's what i'm working on for him yes jordan reached level four social yes and she finished her extra credit already yes jade love that for you they're doing the little bottle rocket oh finally finally she's gone into labor oh it was taking her forever she's gonna give kyra a bath and then she'll give birth Ooh, we can be on 29 or we can be on 30. how cute she's gonna read kyra to sleep before she gives birth Oh, I love Kyra. Her red eyes are so cool. Come on, baby mama. Yes, and Jordan finishes extra credit. Her stomach looks so weird. Let's see. Okay, yes. Anytime there's these little star things, it usually means that we have um, a cult baby. I'm noticing because Kyra and Kylie had that as well. And when Jordan was born, she had that as well. Who's the baby father? Oh my goodness, is that... Rayanch guy. I know his last name begins with an A, but I don't know his last name. And we had a girl. Okay. I know what name I want to choose. I just need to go find who commented that name. All right. The name I chose is Lyrica, and that's from Elaine. Thank you, Elaine. Lyrica. I like that name. It's really unique and pretty. So Lyrica and whatever her last name is. Yes, and we reach 30. And I know what I want for 30 because I just read over that comment. Um, and that's Legacy. That was given to me by um, Tabitha. I thought it was unique again. I don't know. I, I'm feeling more unique with the names as we're going on. We keep having more babies. And I just want the names to be unique now. So Lyrica and Legacy. Oh, I like those. We're on 30, you guys. We reached 30 babies for 300 subscribers. Girl, have these babies, and one of them is going to be in a cult. At least one. Hopefully both. But we'll see. 
Oh, she had her babies. Lyrica and Legacy. All right, we can get pregnant again. So we're going to feed the babies, of course, because they're going to need feeding. We're going to take a sleep replacement, of course, because that's, you know, what we do. Do we have one? We have one more sleep replacement. Whenever we move the next kid out, we got to remember, anytime she wears these pajamas, this is how she holds the baby. Like, girl, this is like your 20th child, maybe more, because some of them are cults. So let's see, how many kids do you have? 23. This is your 23rd child. And you don't know how to hold a baby? Girl, I can't believe we gave birth to 23 kids, but now we're on 30, so... Seven are counted as an occult. Occult is the way to go. Oh my goodness. But the mermaid is going to be our last occult baby. Because I have the fear that we will um, die or age out with occult babies. Because we have no girl in the house that's a human. That we know of. We don't know what Lyrica is, but still. Um, so this mermaid child that we have, I don't know. We'll see if it, if it even is a mermaid. All right, there she goes. She drank her sleep replacement. She's inviting the guy over. We might have the baby this episode. What I might do is I might just skip through the weekend. Um, and if we get pregnant with this mermaid. First, I'm, I'm talking to a head. Let's get pregnant first. Okay, Paka is here. So let's brighten day. All right, good. They're in the room. She is sick. She needs to go to the doctor, but let's, let's get this done. Oh, he's so flirty right now. Okay, we should be able to have our first kiss, though. There we go. Seal the deal. Can we woohoo? Yep. Okay, go ahead and woohoo and take care of these babies because they've been crying. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Mommy, sorry. They just need their diaper changed. They're not, like, starving. But come on. Quickly. Okay, great. No protection was used. Take pregnancy test. Girl, you're taking so long. Yes! Okay, good. She's eating for two. Great. Great. All right, ask Paka to be just friends. Aw, that's sweet, but I'm so sorry. It's just, it's not going to work out. It's not. Ask to be just friends. And last name, Uha. Let's see if I actually remember that, though. I never seem to remember their last names. Oh my goodness, we have so much toys to sell. Jeez. Let's see how much this is. Oh, why would you flirt with him after you just asked to be friends? This is her problem, honestly. Um, we're going to skip through all of Sunday, <laughs> um, because the kids are already finished their project. They did what they had to do. Um, the toddlers are just working on skills all Sunday. Um, so we're not doing anything exciting. She already got pregnant. So we'll skip through Sunday and then we'll, uh, pick back up on Monday. All right. So it's Monday morning, right before school. They're eating their breakfast or whatever. I had them do another project. I don't think it's going to help at all, but, you know, they were bored and they kept making messes, so why not be productive, you know what I mean? Um, these ones have been working, okay? Um, she only needs her potty and her imagination in the three. This is Kyra. Kylie needs, uh, she needs more. She needs her movement to three, potty, imagination. Um, so she's a little behind, but it's okay. She was just sleeping, that's why. Um, but yeah, that's where we are. It's almost Lyrica and Legacy's birthday as well. I think we only have like, maybe, I'll actually check. We have 11 hours and, um, she gets in her third trimester in 16 hours. So we're, we're moving along slowly, but surely. Let's get Kylie up just to get her movement at three and eat a little. There you go. You reached level three. That's all you had to do, Kylie. So now you only need imagination and a uh, potty. And your potty's not even that far off. Oh, this is cute. I'm like, why is her motor skill going up? It's because she's dancing. <laughs> there you go, level three. Nice. All right, Samira, get up and give this girl a bath, please. Way to go, Kyra. You only have imagination now. It's on one, but you only have imagination. You love, you need to keep working on that potty. You're almost level two or level three, and then you only need imagination as well. Wow. Good, their extra credit count, study hard. Yes, level three party, yes, yes. All right, she's gonna pass out. Go to sleep, love. Sorry, go to sleep, go to sleep. You're fine, go to sleep. All right, they came home with projects. I know they did not get Bs. Yep, still C students. Getting to the B is the hard part for children. 
Samir is going to sleep. Uh, we're going to get the notification in five minutes to age them up. So we're going to enter creatism with them. There it goes. It's Lyrica's birthday and it's Legacy's birthday. Get up. Time to age them up. Actually, you know what? Stay asleep. Because I want you to potty train them, so stay asleep. Oh, I'll go to sleep so that we can potty train them. Yes, Kylie's level two with her imagination. All right, Samir, enough sleep. Clean these potties first, and then give Legacy super efficient baby care. Give Lyrica a breastfeed and a cuddle. Yes, Kyra reached level two imagination too. Perfect. One more skill, girls. I'm so excited. I'm, I'm excited to see if both of them are vampires. One of them is a vampire. Who's a vampire? Let's see. Okay, Lyrica aged up and she's a charmer. All right, time for Legacy to age up. Legacy is angelic. Oh, how sweet. Oh, so cute. And I'm definitely noticing that there's something wrong with my skins because their dad is nowhere near that color and um yeah so we're gonna fix uh their skins in um create a sim all right i'm gonna bring them into create a sim but i want to see what their dad's last name is acharya i think oh that's why he's always here he's the vendor oh okay acharya is his name though i would say they're more around that color maybe even like that so we'll, i'll add that skin tone so i'll give her brother the same one but this is lyrica um they're both not vampires <laughs> i don't know why it lit up like that but yeah this is legacy oh i love his chubby cheeks that's so cute yeah we'll give them that color i can't believe they're both not vampires that sucks um but let me give them the make their makeover and i'll show you afterwards all right so here is lyrica um, I decided to give them a little bit of a darker face detail just because um, they not, they're not vampires, but their father still is a vampire. So I wanted to give them a little bit of a darker look. Here's their everyday sleep, party, swimwear, hot weather, and cold weather. I hope you like Lyrica's look. I decided to keep her hair red because she aged up with these eyebrows, so... We don't have enough diversity in our kids' hair color and eye color, so when I have the chance, I take it. All right, so here is Legacy. This is his cute little face. His everyday sleep, party, swim, hot, and cold. All right, let's get back to the game. All right, girl, you're doing everything you're not supposed to be doing. You're supposed to be over here potty training um, Legacy. Oh my goodness, Lyrica is like flying through her skills. She's already almost level two movement. We're gonna potty train her after we're done with Legacy. Oh my goodness, she's just been lounging in the pool. She's like exhausted. Girl, girl, mm -mm. and Lyrica's already level two. Okay, yes, Kylie's level three. Yes, Kylie. Why are you over here talking to the bear? You need to be working on your dolls, okay? That's what you need to do. And I think he just reached level two. He did. He did. Great. Um, you can work on your communication next as well. There's so many toddlers to keep track of. I can't. I can't. Kylie, you're level three and everything. Just love. Just, just, you know, you can go to sleep. All right. Samira, you're going to want to make sure there's a cake for them to age up. Oh my goodness. Someone ate it. <laughs> we gotta make a cake. Why? Why do they do this to me? Oh my goodness, Lyrica's already level three movement. Oh my goodness, Legacy's already level two communication. Yes. Love that for you, Legacy. Oh my goodness, she's back to making poor things because she's so tired. Poor thing. Now uh, let's age up Kylie. Happy birthday, Kylie. There you go. Ooh, yes, we get baby Kylie as a child. I mean, as a child. Go ahead, Kylie. All right, let's see. Kylie, please get a good trait. Cheerful. <laughs> Kylie is cheerful. That means she can't be anything like evil or mean. That's great. And she got motor. Okay. There you go, Kylie. Oh my goodness, Kylie. Why do you have blonde hair? I can't. I can't. All right. Add birthday candles, Kylie. Kyra, why are you working on everything but your... No, 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 no. You're almost there with your imagination. Let's go. 
There you go, Kyra. Finally, finally. She's like, I can go to sleep now. No, 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 no. It's time for you to age up. <laughs> All right, Kyra. I don't know why your mom's holding you like that. Oh my goodness, Samara, please. Oh my goodness, Lyrica never went to school. I said Lyrica. Jade, are you kidding me? She looks so cute though, but go to school. I can't believe that. At least she's still excellent. All right, let's blow out these. Oh my goodness, and this one, this one, this one's tearing up. I don't even have time to discipline you. Because, like, just come, mm -mm. help blow out candles. Please help Kara blow out her candles. Please. Samara. Samara. Thank you. <laughs> I had to yell at her because, like, I'm getting so frustrated. It's too many toddlers. Like, let's go. Oh, my goodness. Look how Kara's looking at her. Like, girl. Oh, my goodness. Blow out the candles. I'm not understanding. Okay. She, yep. Put her back down for the third time. Oh my, they, they both, they both are pissing me off. Let, oh my goodness, she's starving. She's starving. She needs to eat. So yeah, help her blow out her candles so she can get her own food. It would be all so simple. And the sink broke in the background. Oh my goodness. I can't. All right, let's take, take, what, five? Happy birthday, Kara. Happy freaking birthday. There you go. Watch her not age up. I can't. And Samira's gonna pass out. Samira, when are you giving birth? Like, y'all all pissing me off right now. Samira just went over here to pass out. There you go, Kara. And you're a goofball. You know what? That makes sense. Because what you did was just funny. That was funny. And you got mental. Of course. Okay, here you go. That makes sense. All right. Um, Your social's level two already. Nice. Hi, Kara. <laughs> she looks so angry. Okay. Kara get leftovers before you get like you know taken away look at her we're her ass in the air girl put the birthday candles on the cake i can't oh and this 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 replace this we just she needs to give birth because her mood is just awful awful oh my goodness are you study hard what are you doing you went to school late oh my goodness i swear to god if jade does not get herself together and you're exhausted Oh, you guys, you guys, I feel like sometimes I'm on it, right? Like we have a great episode and then sometimes they just stress me out. And right now y'all stressing me out because you could just easily go to sleep. What are you doing for your mom? What are you asking for? Just go ask for bed. That's it. And we still didn't get his. Oh, we did get his potty did too. We didn't get her potty did too, but she has level three and two skills already. Okay. Next episode, we'll worry about them. It's not about y'all right now. And it's not, definitely not about y'all either, Kara and Kylie. Y'all staying children. I don't know. I'm not going to be productive this episode. Let me know if I'm being, like, dramatic because I'm stressed out. But I don't know. And, um, Kylie, why are you up? Oh, okay. No, you're you're not tired anymore. Use the bathroom. Take a shower. You know, get some leftovers. And then we're going to get started on projects and homework. Just because I'm stressed out doesn't mean I forgot what we like to do. And, oh, my goodness, when they age up, why do they get all this food? They have so many plates. I need to put one of these upstairs so it's easier for them to just throw out their food because honestly, remember last episode? I was like, oh, it's so boring. We have no toddlers or no babies. It's nothing to do. Ah, Like, no, no, because mm -mm, right now I'm feeling it. And the scary thing is we still have one more baby coming. All right, good. Both bees. You were stressing me out, Jade. You were stressing me out. And they came home with projects, which is perfect. Yes, Legacy's already level two. Nice. Did she automatically age up with fangs? I think she did. That's cute. Ooh, that's so cute. Yes, okay. Extra credit complete by Jordan and um, Jade. They're going to work on some projects now. Kylie finished her homework. Let's get her a project. Her and uh, Kyra. Starting to feel like things are going back to normal. They're actually working on their projects. I don't feel as flustered. Having those four toddlers was like, oh, uh, too much. And then it was too much. And then Kyra was taking too long. But we're, we're getting back there now. Lyrica's working on her thinking. She's almost level two with that. Um, we're going to wake up Samira once she reaches level two. So she can start potty training her to level two. All right, we're going to potty train Lyrica some. Because her skill is definitely on one still for potty train. I know we... Oh, she reached level uh, two thinking though. Which means that she was defiant. 
And now she's hurt by us. Oh my goodness, I can't with this. I can't. Okay, yeah, she went into labor. Nice, nice. All right, let's uh, finish potty training Lyrica this one time and then we'll give birth. I'm, I'm interested to see, is it a boy or girl? This is like a single baby. We're known for having boys for our single baby. Ezra, single baby boy. Isaac, single baby boy. So if this baby is a boy, I don't even trust this anymore because this was on the floor for um, Lyric and Legacy and not none of them was a vampire or anything like that. So I don't know what those hell, what the hell those are. But yeah, Samara, have your baby. A boy. A boy. Okay, let me get my names. I, I'm, I'm kind of happy it's a boy because the girl names were kind of hard to choose between. People kept giving me my name for M Baby. Like, they were like Maya, Maya. And I don't know, I kind of wanted to name the baby after me. I think that would be cool to have a baby named after me. But here we are. Here we are with our single boy, like always let me go into the video though for the comments i feel like i'm gonna go with mateo mateo was left by demi um because I, i'm remembering his last name is uha and he's like he has the chance of being a mermaid so i feel like mateo is a very mermaid name so mateo e uha that's our 31st kid or 30 yeah technically not our 31st kid but still our 31st kid there you go, Mateo. Welcome to this world. I don't know why she holds babies like this when she holds, she wears this outfit. Um, but feed your baby, Samira. All right, I think this is a good point to end it off. Um, I don't know. I feel like this episode, I wasn't productive, but I was. Like, I moved out Isaac, okay. We got pregnant with, um, did we get pregnant twice this episode? Did we get pregnant with Le Legacy and Lyric this episode or did we get pregnant? Yeah, we did. Okay, no. But I still feel not like I wasn't productive. We got pregnant twice, had two sets of babies. Um, We're at 30, but I still feel like I didn't do enough. And I don't know why I feel that way because I feel like I still got a lot done, but I don't know. Um, I'm, st I'm bummed out that Jordan and Jade are not teens yet. And I think that's what's annoying me. And I think it's, we just can't, we like, we're on a weekend with them, but still, I don't know. I feel like I didn't get enough done. But if you enjoyed the episode and the makeovers, please let me know down it below. And we are on N. That's crazy. We're on N babies. But as you can see, I'm producing two sets of babies per episode. So give me N and O names. Um, thank you so much for giving me L and M names. I know it's hard coming up with the names, but you guys are giving me great suggestions and I appreciate it. So now we need N and O. Um, yeah, that's crazy. Uh, but if you enjoyed the episode, give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on the series. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye now.